Hello and welcome to Flashback Generations episode 29. Hello. We've got a special one tonight with no car um, and you might just hear some jingling in the background as the cats are going wild. Uh, not uh, Star Wars cats. <laughs> um, yeah, so tonight's episode we're focusing on the heavy stormtroopers. Uh, you know, of the grey and red variety. We've got lots of negative things to say I'm sure. Uh, so yeah, let's just jump into them. So grey stormtroopers. They cost six, uh, reinforcement cost of three. Reinforcement cost three means that you can actually bring a reinforcement on for them, which is actually a really good point about them. Yeah. Um, they're Imperial Stormtroopers. Uh, they got the trooper keyword and he also heavy word, uh, heavy word, heavy weapon. Uh, their stats are, they've got health six, which is pretty, pretty good actually. Yeah. So they cost six with health six. I mean, there's two of them, so that's 12 health for six points. More of better value in terms of health than the normal grey stormtroopers, yeah? Yeah, so, I mean, that's pretty good in them, by themselves. Speed, three. That's very bad. This is really bad. I think that this is where these guys actually fall down prob perhaps the most. Uh, defense, one black die, as usual, and uh, their attack is blue-red, which is kind of interesting, but, you know, we've seen, like, the Bantha and whatever have that as well. Um, Blue red is okay because you know you got a bit of range and you got a bit of damage too, so you know it's a it's a good combo really. Yeah. Um, stats they have uh, this guy got, got built in plus two accuracy, so he's always got plus two, which means with the blue combined with the blue die he can never uh, roll less than four. Yeah. Um, so he's got decent range, uh, plus one damage and plus one blast. So there is his surge abilities. Um, uh, he, Straight away, straight off the bat, he doesn't have any other way to increase his um, accuracy. So if he misses, he misses. <coughs> so yeah, yeah, unless you pull a card out like um, whatever it is, Dead Eye or something. You know, there's there's some plus two accuracy card, isn't there? Oh uh, yeah, it's a bit of a waste. Yeah, but you, yeah, uh, down, basically, right? basically, yeah. This this guy is was he four to seven, isn't he? Range pretty much. Yeah. Uh, okay. So basically, a four to seven, which which is good, but it's not fantastic. The, uh, his special ability is composite plating. While defending, if the attacker is four or more spaces away, apply plus one block to the defense results. So that's quite a good result, but it's a very easy one to counter. And most people will, you know, go with the, the tactics of, uh, you know, guerrilla tactics: run in, shoot, run out. Well, I suppose the theory is that if you're supposed to be scared of this guy, so you keep your distance, and if you keep your distance, you're not getting through his thick armor. The trouble is, as soon as you play them once, you're just going to run in and, you know, shoot them. Uh, I don't think he's. I don't see the deterrent there, and they rarely get that plus one defense, and they have to move up to actually attack people. So yeah. they're actually, they usually uh, don't have that. that. Like that sweet spot of being four away is a really hard one for them to to keep, especially with their terrible movement. You know, so they they don't really command the battlefield. That's the problem with these guys. Yeah, they don't get in front of the other troops. They just kind of sit behind them uh, for the most part. Um. Yeah, sorry, I should say there's two in the detachment as well. Um, so let's see what the red ones get to uh, offer. Uh, so they're eight points, uh, reinforcement cost of four. So the four is actually a big um, disappointing uh, point in the way these guys, because you can't actually bring them on as a- uh, Yeah, you can't use reinforcement card, can you? But, you know, what do you get for the extra four points? So they still have, uh, they got, sorry, they got eight health instead of six. No, um, Plus two uh, life, so they got sixteen life. Yeah, um, but you know that's on a ratio of points. It's one to one anyway. They're still speed three, and they're still one black defense uh, defense die and blue red attack. They have accuracy plus two again, and they got this time they got blast two and plus two damage. So they they do actually excel a little bit more. But remember, you're using a blue and a red die. Your surges are a bit limited on those. Yeah, um, you know blue being. You can't you can't rely on a surge at all there, can you? Not with the blue and the red. No, exactly. Uh, and then the other thing with these guys is composite plating. Off the bat, the red ones are worse in almost every regard. If they're going to get killed and shot, you know, uh, the red ones are going to do it basically better than the the grey ones. Uh, you know, the grey ones aren't great, but the red ones are really kind of awful for their, their points. Well, I've got sixteen lives on the on the cards for eight for eight points. That's about the only good thing, really. Um, if you are daft enough to stand around in front of them, they should sting you a bit. You've got two blue red guns going at you um, with potentially plus two damage. But like you say, there's no not many surges because they've got a blue red. Um, 
and it's just a speed three. It just makes I mean, it makes sense because they're carrying a massive, great big gun and they're wearing heavy armor. But um, these guys, you know, taking on their own on their own uh, merits, they're not great, are they? Really? No, no, they're not. They they can't. They don't control the battlefield at all. I mean, the grey ones. You look at them. Six points. Yeah. You get two blue red guns. Wouldn't you rather have three blue green guns, which is what you get with the normal stormtroopers? The, the other problem with the, these guys over the normal stormtroopers is the stormtroopers have uh, the, the squad training, so they can actually uh, get re rolls. They get a re roll. They yeah. get a re roll, and so if you put it this way, these guys on average uh, a green and uh, sorry a red and a blue die. Let's say you get three damage. But that's with no rerolls, and they they have to have that range of four. Yeah. They you know so they actually need to to uh, sit in that range. Stormtroopers are way more uh, diverse because they've got like a, a longer range with rerolls sitting in there for free. Yeah. So uh, I've found that the stormtroopers usually hit, and they will hit for you know maximum damage. So what's that three, th uh, four four damage a turn? Yeah, yeah. But with the reroll. So yeah. you know three or four damage. Uh, whereas these guys might do three but they had to put themselves out and they had to get themselves into a weird position to do it yeah and are not guaranteed to hit so it's yeah all, they're basically they're basically working against their own composite plating as well they're trying to get as close as possible which is removing their uh composite plating bonus for being four or more spaces away you, you know you, if you can be three spaces away when you shoot you'll take that because you know there's every possibility you could miss at four spaces let's talk about lists they're good and bad in um off the bat they're in a trooper list, something that they actually do quite well is um, if you've got if you're taking all troopers, so you take the grey ones, then you can actually have um, what's his name, their commander guy. You can run in and make them make them shoot because they do. Oh, it, Samos. Samos, yeah, sorry, that's his name. Uh, in theory, they've got a better gun than a normal stormtrooper, but they still don't get the rerolls. So yeah. I, just, I still don't rate them as highly. No matter no matter what way I spin this, I can't really rate them as highly. Um, they do up to six health, which is a big quite a bump you know you don't kill them in one round of combat yeah but they've only got one shot unlike you know your two stormtroopers two shots so um, yeah they've got the same black dice as well so i don't know i was i'm underwhelmed by them to be honest um in lists i'm not sure really i mean you could prop them up with the imperial officers as usual getting to move a bit more you know move two spaces or or push them in people's faces and yep. get them a shot <clears throat> then they don't still don't get the armor bonus and whatever yeah uh, yeah, so pretty much, uh, I, I think the Stormtroopers over these guys every day of the week. Yeah, I think uh, these guys needed blue, red, green or something, or at least blue, red, yellow. <coughs> blue, blue, red? Yeah, something like that. They need another dice, really, to make them... I mean, it's a heavy weapon. It should be able to shoot more than about five spaces, you know. Or maybe, pl maybe plus one damage in there. Uh, automatic plus automatic damage. yeah, yeah. You know, the, the heavy weapon, it just sort of... And they've yeah. got the plus two accuracy, but you, you could be... You know, you could be shooting. You've got quite a high chance of shooting four spaces only. You know, what is it? One in three? Yeah, uh, look, sure. it's looking like a one in three chance. I'm looking at the dice here of shooting four spaces, which is useless. You know. Um, uh, yeah, and there's no way to adjust that. So tough. No, nope. you missed. I mean, the average is going to be about five spaces, I think. But considering he's carrying a massive cannon, that seems a bit weak. Um, yeah, mind you, no, you've got the plus two up. Yeah. It, is, it is a dice game, and in a skirmish, every shot counts, and you know, suddenly these guys not pulling their weight really uh, you know, affects the whole game. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the um, upgrades. The, sorry, command, command cards, cards, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we'll start off with heavy weaponry. So this is a, a heavy weapon card, so we're gonna do heavy weapon uh, focus uh, centric cards this, uh, this episode. Uh, when you declare an attack, this attack gains blast one. Oh, it's, it's explosive, explosive weaponry, yeah? Yeah. Well, it's on heavy weapons, so yeah. they, it gains blast one. And this is on a, it costs one, and you can have two in your deck. Um, yes, this is explosive weaponry. So this is, this card is okay, but I actually don't think it's actually this great on these guys, because what these guys have already is, um, Well, you can stack blast. it, can't you? So, I mean, if you, if you use this with a good shot from a blast, uh, from a red heavy stormtrooper. Blast two, so yeah. Blast it becomes three. blast three, yeah. And if you if you're hitting a big squad of stormtroopers, you're gonna take a load of them out, aren't you? Which is nice, but you know that's uh, it's it's quite a stretch to get in that situation. It is, but. and your opponent, if he's got a brain, will know that they have blast, and you know won't set himself up in such a way. Yeah, he'll, he'll be defended against blast killed. anyway. Yeah. Um, and these guys have to get in such a weird position to get blast off. Uh, other heavy weapons that it's good on, uh, you know, like a, a lot of heavy weapons 
already had any other heavy weapon basically <laughs> um, walkers the tank it's good with the sabs actually sabs yeah the, definitely. the sabs is good with because the sabs actually require have a requirement to get this off yeah. whereas this is uh you know, with the surges, this actually just goes through. Yeah, yeah. So um, you don't really. It's, see it's the sabs. Much. One of the sabs' favourite, isn't it? Um, the 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 old eweb engineer. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> God bless him. Yeah. Oh yeah, everyone's afraid of them. Well, less, less we forget. <laughs> but you know, uh, so explosive weaponry. I actually I do raise it as a card. It's only one point, and you got a two your deck. Uh, it I I just feel like. It's a little un underwhelming. There's a lot of cards <clears> nowadays that are quite tricky and do. Do a lot of uh, game changing effects. Yeah. This card, not so much. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's kind of pretty basic, <laughs> simple card. Isn't it, it is a wave one, but when people pull this out, you're like, oh, okay, go on. You know, and yeah. you're expecting, oh, what have they got? So, you know, whatever. All right, let's move on to the next one. Um, this is our last card. We're doing two an episode now, not the three. Uh, so, we've got maximum firepower. This is three points, and you can have one in your deck. This is on a heavy weapon. This costs both your actions, so the, the, these guys aren't going to use it. Perform an attack, apply plus four damage to the attack results. Nice. <laughs> it's absolutely brutal, this card. It, yeah, yeah. The, I, I mean, these guys, of course they can These can't, cannot use it because they're never going to be in a position where they don't have to walk before firing. Oh, what a waste of time when you... Unless you've, you've managed to jump jet them or something like that. Well, that, you jump jet them costs an action. Yeah, That's exactly. Yeah, it does, actually. So you've got to Imperial Officer them along. And then uh, say so there you go. So you're getting plus four damage for all that. But it's very expensive for these guys as yeah, well. Yeah. What you really want to do is put it on, uh, you know, your ATSTs or any pretty much vehicles and stuff are pretty yeah. good with it. Because if you've got something that that can really get a blast off, uh, you know, something with three dice or whatever. Um, what about um, IG88? Does he have heavy weapon? I don't think so. No. Okay. Well, you know, pe people are more diverse dice that can actually get more uh, value like because this will do no, the damage <clears throat> this this has this has all the damage that you need yeah, so yeah. suddenly you're looking at it again it's a good oh, character assassination thing isn't yeah, it yeah you want you want a lot of other uh, variants in in there apart from just damage pretty much yeah um so you know i i do actually think that this card is terrible in these but it's really good in other heavy weapons yeah, yeah. especially if you've got a, a crew of heavy weapons the hard part about this is obviously that the two movement requirement it's, it's a bit of a it's a slog. It's a tough one to... to yeah, the two actions, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, uh, what do you think of the models? Um, yeah, the, uh, the models actually... Um, they're very hard to spot out at a distance from and all the other uh, Stormtrooper models. Have you got one there, Si? Anyway? Uh, no. You got one. So they basically, they've got this big, long, sort of rifle-type thing. But Ele they, elephant gun, kind of, yeah. Yeah, but they're kind of aiming it like that aren't they yeah so at a distance it's very hard if you look at you know they've got a little backpack on the back um on the picture on the car they, they, they're sort of like walking along with it on a on a belt you know slung sort of waist height which is is more where the miniature should have gone i think um they look like they're sniping somebody uh, rather than gunning <laughs> gunning down a crowd something you know? they never do <laughs> well yeah, exactly yeah they look like actually taking aim with this huge barrel thing um and it just doesn't it's not the right pose, in my opinion. But other than that, they're stormtroopers. They could they could have been a bit more menacing, I think. Yeah, they, they should have been sort of like I mean, the 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 second edition stormtroopers are like aiming and pointing high with their pistols, yeah, and yeah. Uh, the original stormtroopers are kind of doing a space marine standard, standing there holding a gun with two hands, and these guys are standing holding the gun with two hands and raising it slightly with a backpack on. Um, so it's like, now nah, missed opportunity. They should have been sort of like striding along, standing straight with the gun sort of... Is it Arnie or somebody like that who goes through the jungle, you know, with the old <laughs> Gatling gun, going, duh, 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 yeah. blowing away the trees. One of those guys did it. Uh, it should be that more that pose, I think, but uh, no. But never mind, you know, they're, they're a stormtrooper. Uh, I agree. They're, they're a bit boring, but they're a bit boring for a pretty uh, underwhelming style. Yeah. All right, well, uh, yeah, let's stop moaning about them, and we'll see you put next them, time, guys. Put them in the cupboard with the E-Web. <laughs> <laughs> yes, see you later, guys. Cheerio. Bye.